Hello friends, this video on probability part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 23. Find the probability distribution of the number of heads in two toss of a coin. This coin is tossed twice. So you may get head or tail in first and then here also you may get head tail, head tail. So logically you have head head, head tail, tail head, tail tail. So these four options you have. Right? So you toss two coins, you get these many options. So we have to find the probability distribution of number of heads. So number of heads can be 0, can be 1 and can be correct. So x can have values 0, 1, 2 here. Why? Because I am looking for here the random variable x is nothing but the number of heads. Please note the random variable x has values 0, 1 and 2 because I am looking for the number of heads here. Right? So probability of x is equal to 0 is number of head is 0 is tt. It is probability of getting tail tail and that is 1 by 4. Correct? Because there are 4 possible options. One of these is tt. Probability of getting x equal to 1 is nothing but either you get ht or th. ht or th. This is nothing but 2 options. 2 by 4 is 1 by 2. Probability of getting x equal to 2 that is the number of heads twice is nothing but probability of getting headed and that is nothing but 1 by 4. So if you see the distribution, the value of x can be 0, 1 and 2 and this probability of x can be either 1 by 4 or in case of 1 it was 1 by 2, in case of 2 also it was 1 by 2. And if you add all these, if you add this becomes 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4. Correct. So nothing big deal here. So you have this probabilities, right? So uh, you are looking for a random variable number of heads. We saw that number of heads can be 0, 1 or 2. So we found x is equal to 0, x equal to 1, x equal to 2. Probabilities. We'll take some example, find the probability distribution of the number of tails in this case. Number of tails in a uh, toss of three coins. So if you toss three coins, you see if you toss three coins, uh, you can get head or tail in the first, then you may get head tail, then you may get head tail in second, in third also you may get a head tail, you may get a head tail, here also you may get a head tail, here also you may get a head tail. So there are eight possible options, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me jot down. Right, head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, 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 head, head, tail, head, tail, 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 head, tail, tail, tail. Eight possible options I have. So I am looking for number of tails. So number of tail is zero here. Number of tail is one here. Number of tail is one here. Number of tail is 2 here, 1, 2, number of tail 2, number of tail 3. We see the value of x can be, the number of tails can be either 0, 1, 2 or 3, right? 1, 2 or 3. So probability of x is equal to 0. So there are only 1 possible options, 1 by 8. Probability of x is equal to 1, that is uh, the number of tail is 1 is. 1, 2, 3, 3 by 8. Probability of x is equal to 2 is 1, 2, 3, again 3 by 8. And probability of number of tails that is x is equal to 4, 3 is 1 by 8. Only one possible option. So if you see now the distribution will be like this. The value of x can be 0, 1, 2 and 3. And your px can be for 0 it was 1 by 8, for 1 it is 3 by 8, for 2 also 3 by 8 and for 1 it is 1 by 8. And if you add also you see that 1 by 8 plus 3 by 8 plus 3 by 8 plus 1 by 8 is equal to 
and that's why it's a random Find the probability distribution of number of heads in four toss of a coin. Very similar question. Very similar to the last question. There it was three coin, here it's four coin. So you can solve using the same approach. I won't solve this for you. You can example you have this first coin can be head tail, second coin can also be head tail, head tail, third can can coin also will be head tail. Head tail, head tail, head tail. Now, if you see the fourth coin, can also be head tail, head tail. This guy can also be head tail, head tail, right? This guy can also be head tail, this guy can also be head tail, head tail. So, if you see the 16 possible scenarios 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 8 in this, right? So 16 possible scenarios, then you count the number of heads, uh, scenarios where you get head, you'll find that uh, head is equal to 1 in 1 scenario, sorry, 0 in 1 scenario, head is equal to 1 you'll find in, let's suppose, 4 scenarios, head is equal to 2 you'll find in 6 scenarios, head is equal to 3 you'll find in 4 scenarios, head is equal to 4 again you'll find in 1 scenarios. So, the probability of this guy will be 1 by 16, this will be 4 by 16, 6 by 16, 14 by 16, 1 by 16. That's how you'll get. You try to solve, not that difficult. You have, uh, since you're looking for the number of heads, so x is nothing but number of heads, and x can take value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So you find probability of x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, you'll find these values. Let's take one more example. So here you define the probability distribution of the number of success in two throw of a die, this die is thrown twice. The success is defined number greater than zero, four. So you throw this die, you may get both the numbers, you throw this die twice, right, t1, t2. In both the case, you may get number less than four, right, in one case, you may get number less than four, or in both the case, you may get number greater than four. So, so there are three options, right? So now x is nothing but number greater than 4. So x can have values 0, 1 and 2. Correct? Why? Because my in both trial you may get number less than 4. So there is 0 possible success. In one case you may get number greater than 4, 1 possible. In both case you may get number greater than 4. Correct? So in any throw, probability of number greater than 4 probability of n greater than 4 is nothing but probability of getting 5, 6 and that is nothing but 2 by 6 and probability of number less than equal to 4 is nothing but probability of getting 1, 2, 3, 4 that is 4 by 6. Correct. So for x is equal to 0 this probability is nothing but probability of n less than 4, I mean I'll write like this actually. Let's suppose this guy is success and this guy is failure, right, number greater than 4 is success and failure. There's nothing but probability of failure, failure, you get failure in both cases. So this becomes 4 by 6 into 4 by 6, that is 4 by 9. Probability of x is equal to 1 means you either get failure in first, success in second or you get success in first, failure in second. Probability of, and they are independent events, so I'm just writing like this. So probability of failure into success is nothing but, probability of failure is what? 4 by 6. Probability of success is 2 by 6. Last, probability of success is 2 by 6. Probability of failure is 4 by 6. That is nothing but 4 by 9. Similarly, x is equal to 2 is nothing but, you get success both case. That means you are looking for 2 by 6 into 2 by 6. That is 1 by n. So if you see the probability distribution, you can value of x can be 0, 1, 2, and the probability values for 0 is 4 by 9, for 1 also 4 by 9, and for 2 also 1 by 9. And that is my answer.
So if you add all, it becomes 4 plus 4 plus 8 plus 1, 9, 9 by 9, that's 1. So that's how I test for number greater than 6. This is the case. The second part was 6 appears at least in one die. So let me give a space for this. I took more space for this question. So, okay, I'll try to squeeze in and get some space. Yeah. So probability of getting 6 at least in one die is x. Right? So x can have only two values here, 0 or 1, because either it may have 6 in one die or it may not have. Correct? See, 6 getting 6 at least in one die is my x. x is nothing but getting 6 in 1 plus die, right? 1 or more than 1. So either it may not get or it may get. So, so let's think of this is y actually. So make, don't make it x, you will get confused. So y can have values 0 or 1. Correct. So probability of y is equal to 0 is there is no 6. There is no 6 you got, right? So probability of getting 6 is probability of getting 6 is 1 by 6 and probability of not getting 6 is 5 by 6. Correct? 1 by 6 and not getting this is 1 minus 1 by 6 that's 5 by 6. So when you are saying that you don't get any 6 that means you are saying that probability of getting 6 dash 6 dash and that is nothing but 5 by 6 into 5 by 6 since they are independent events. Correct? And that is nothing but 25 by 36. Similarly, so probability of getting once this thing that is uh, probability of getting uh, at least once, right? So you get uh, you don't get six, you get six plus you get six in the first throw, or you may get six in both throw. Correct? Because it is at least here, at least one die. So at least one die satisfies. At least one means. One die, one die, or both die. So this is nothing but since they are independent, probability of six not is five by six. Probability of six is one by six. Plus probability of six is one by six into six not is five by six. Plus probability of six is one by six into probability of six is one by six. Since they are independent events, right? So I can write this as nothing but probability of six into probability of six. Probability of six into probability of six not. Probability of six not into probability of six. This we saw this is nothing but 11 by 36. So this guy, if you see the value of x can be 0 and 1 only. And the probability distribution, if you see, for 0 came out to be 25 by 36. And for 1, it is 11 by 36. And if you add both, you get 36 by 36, that is 1. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.